Welcome back, friends. Today I have something a little different. I want to show you around my studio. This is part artist workspace and it's also part YouTuber's workspace. If I'm not painting or drawing, then we're photographing or filming and it all happens pretty much in this one little room. So come on in and have a look around. Chris and I live in an apartment on the second floor of an old home in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. And there's this funny little open room right in the center of the apartment, and this is our studio space. It's part artist workshop, part YouTube channel backdrop, part dining room, and we also use a bit of the hallway as our office. So now that you kind of have the lay of the land, let me show you around. Welcome to this side of the studio. So over here, we've got our YouTube backdrop, but it also has a lot of function for us. So first of all, we do a lot of editing at the laptop. There's lots of boxes up here for storage. I think I've got staging materials and um, sewing supplies, extra paint brushes. And then these file folders are filled with tracing paper, graphite transfer paper, graph paper, all that good stuff is in those. The other side, of the room here we have uh, the tech cupboard it's like an antique locker or something it looks really pretty on the outside <laughs> and on the inside it's a little bit messier up top here we have our microphone lenses camera equipment we have a bunch of sound recording equipment that empty shelf is for laptops and then so many cords so so many cords and then over here, we have these wonderful drawers that I absolutely love and they house all of my artwork. Um, we do a uh, high volume of work and I need a lot of storage space. I wanna give you a quick tour of the drawers. In the top one, I keep what I would call artwork that I use for staging. So these are little colorful or textural pieces that we'll use to frame a shot or style a photograph for Instagram. They add a little bit of color and pattern to our film and our photos. And uh, some of it you might've seen on the channel, other stuff I've just made as practice or specifically for um, staging and styling. It's usually a little bit tidier than this, but we've been doing so many videos lately that it's gotten a little crazy. In the next drawer, I have all of the work that I've done for my book. So many of you have asked about the book and I'm finished my manuscript. It's all ready. It's sort of in the publisher's hands now and I'm waiting on news and I hopefully will have some news for you very soon. In the third drawer, I have all of my latest YouTube channel work. We're going to be doing pumpkin cards next week. I think that's next week. And um, yeah, as I said, there's a high volume of work with two videos every week. So we just store it all in here. Um, these are some prints we made. We're going to be painting herbs. If you're interested in getting prints of some of the artwork, it's available on Patreon and um, yeah, this is just everything we've done over the last, you know, probably 10 months. These wedding invites were a great video, the watercolor cards. These tropical leaves are from a bonus video on my Patreon site. There's an extra video over there every month. So if you're interested in sort of joining the bonus content club, check that out after today's video. That tropical leaves was a really popular video for the, uh, for the patrons. Let me organize this a little and we will move along. In the next drawer, I have all the YouTube channel content that's a bit older. So if you've been around for a minute, you might recognize some of this stuff from, oh gosh, three or four years ago. These pieces are from when I was in Iceland. That was just after I went to doing a video every single week. I had less than 10,000 subscribers. Um, that would have been in 2016, early 2016. I remember these calendars. These are from the days before bullet journaling videos, M my bullet journaling videos when we, I was just doing calendars. And I think looking through this, part of the reason I wanted to show this is because I've come a long way in my artwork. So um, for anyone that's wondering about that, my journey has been documented online and all these videos, you can still go out and find them. You can see I've come a long way with the supplies that I use, my technique, my style. Moving along in this um, fourth drawer or fifth drawer, I've got all my sketchbooks and journals and there's so many of them. 
I've got my bullet journals and art journals from this year. Um, that's the journal that I'm giving away to a lucky winner. Um, and I think all of these sketchbooks are full except for one. And, uh, and uh, this is the colored pencil sketchbook that I like to use for all of my pen and ink work. That one's from Strathmore. It costs less than $5. Finally, I've got all my paper stored down here in the bottom. Lots of uh, watercolor paper, cold pressed, uh, hot pressed and rough, as well as some cutting mats. Next, let's move over to the other wall and I want to show you one of my favorite things about the studio. It's this old hutch behind me. This is an amazing piece of furniture that Chris and I bought when we were first moving in together. I think it's over a hundred years old. And first I painted it, this bright robin's egg blue and that was really cool. We used to have it in our dining room and it was for all of our canned goods and mason jars. But now it's for all of the art supplies and staging materials that we use for the channel. I went through a white phase a few years ago so now it's painted white. I think I'm still in that phase. And recently I made the inside of it over using all these awesome white simple boxes from Ikea and my Dymo label maker to create these simple black labels. Now everything's organized and I also love the way that it looks when I open the cover. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Let me give you a little tour of these boxes. I've got my felting supplies, my hand carved stamps. I do a lot of block printing in my spare time. I love that. I have my wax seals. Um, gosh, let me know if you want to see more videos about wax seals. There's so many uses for those. I keep a lot of things in baskets that makes them easily accessible and I keep my markers and pens horizontally in uh, clear plastic tubs. I also have a lot of items for staging and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, so these are some of the baskets. I've got my label maker, I've got my brush pens and watercolors. So the things I use on the daily are very easy to get to. I have a little basket of antique postcards and I love collecting them. I use them as a way to add interest to photographs but also to frame uh, shots for the video tutorials. Just the writing, the postmarks, the stamps, all of it is so beautiful and so interesting to me. So that's my little collection. Um, you'll often see these, in, especially in my Instagram photos. I also keep a lot of staging materials on the first shelf of the cupboard. This is really anything I think is interesting. Dried flowers, old bottles, clothespins, twine. All of it comes together to help me tell a story in film and photography. Over here, tucked away in the corner, we have what I would call my uh, staging boards or styling boards. Chris and I have made or collected these through the years. Some of them are smooth and just painted different colors. This one I particularly like. I covered a board in plaster of Paris to give me this wonderful texture. This is a new dark peachy pink one that I've got, very trendy color. Uh, Chris made these with just a bit of cheap pine board and that gives a nice textural element as well. We've got some that are darker so I get a nice contrast in my uh, Instagram photos. Another one with the pine board there that adds a nice linear element and uh, this one is very heavy Chris made this it's just four tiles and uh, it's a beautiful textural element for the backdrop of photographs and you've probably seen it on my Instagram and then this guy this is an old door that I bought for 10 bucks at a garage sale and it has the most wonderful texture and I love photographing on it it's just my style the way we use these is we have this table in the center of the room in front of the window and I'll just lay down whichever board I like and I'll start placing these items that I've got in the cupboard. I'll put the artwork and I'll surround it with some dried flowers or maybe a piece of fabric, some clothespins and I'm trying to tell a story about the artwork and I'm also trying to compose uh, a photo that's just really pleasing. We also shoot our videos at this table. We have um, a top-down shot made out of PVC piping and we set up all the lights. And that's pretty much how we do uh, all of our filming. Okay, let's move on. This side of the room is a little more playful. 
This summer we had fun doing this ladder rack DIY. It's part plant rack, part fabric rack. I had a lot of hanging baskets earlier in the summer. Now I've got all these wonderful end of summer dried flowers. And then down here, we've got this, um, another Ikea piece. This is great for housing our printer and scanner and a lot of our files. On this side of the cabinet, we have our Epson scanner, which is great for scanning artwork. The color is very good. And then on the other side, we have just a cheap Canon printer. Finally, I'll lead you out into the hallway here. We have a large hall and we use it as an office. We have our Mac computer, which is amazing for editing video. Um, we never thought we'd be tech people, but now you know we find we need the latest and greatest because uh, video editing is just so demanding. We also have a large chalkboard for keeping our schedule. Our calendars are still very analog. And uh, yeah, this is where we do all the video and sound editing and uh, it's quite a nice space. Finally, we never mind curling up in the living room to do a little editing or drawing. I just got an iPad and I'm loving using Procreate. Uh, and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing around our home and our studio and I will see you soon with a new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.